Hello everyone, this is going to be a swatch, including lip swatches, and review video of Revolution Beauty's brand new Matte Balm Liquid Lipsticks. These are available in 12 shades, and I will show all 12 of those shades for you in this video. Makeup Revolution was kind enough to send these along for me to check out. You can currently purchase them either through Revolution's website or through Ulta. I will link in the description box the best place to purchase them at the best price, and as always, I will include any discount codes if I have any available for you to use. Now, for some reason on Ulta's website, I only see five of the 12 shades available. I don't know if that's different in stores or when you check if all 12 will be available, but that is just something to note. And if you do purchase these through Ulta, they retail for just $7 each. In each tube, you get 0.16 ounces. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and following over on Instagram. If you missed the latest video, I will link that in the upper right-hand corner for you. It is a set of lip products that I really love from Clarins. They are shimmery, so completely opposite of the matte finish lip products we'll see in this video. So if that's more your flavor and style, make sure you go check that video out. So the company says that these feature a new mattifying formula that is long lasting. It's supposed to give you a full wash of smudge proof color and the formula is cruelty free and vegan. So they come in these, they look like frosted glass but they're plastic, very pretty, very sleek um, and kind of a matted surface. They are clear so you can see the color that's inside. When you twist them open you get a slanted doe foot applicator that's pretty large. First shade is going to be pink bunny. And this is, I would say, a medium rose pink. Next up is Nude Charm, described as a soft brown. I don't know that this is really that brown. It's a paler, quote-unquote, nude with a pinky undertone, pinky beige undertone. Next is Nude Allure, another soft or paler nude shade. This one is more um, kind of muted pink. Next is Fancy Pink. It's a deeper, more like a carnation-y pink shade. Next up is Clueless Fuchsia. This is described as a vibrant medium mauve. Nude Magnet, another kind of medium pink shade, rose pink shade. Lure Red, beautiful kind of classic red shade. Next up is Coral Cheer. Wow, what a vibrant pink coral shade. Actually, I don't know how coral I would call this, despite the name. It's just like a very bright, loud pink color. Next is Satin Chocolate. This is a really deep you know, eggplant undertoned brown. Next is Delicate Brown. So sort of a kind of like a chocolatey toned nude. Next is Burgundy Star. Hmm, I don't think this is burgundy at all. This is a berry toned purple pink. Last up is Deep Wine, super 
deep, dark, midnight purple shade. Okay, I'm gonna let these sit for a couple minutes. We'll come back, see how they've dried, and do a swipe test. All right, it's been a solid couple minutes. You can see on some of the spots still, they are shiny and kind of wet, not completely dried down. So we'll keep that in mind when doing the swipe test, but here are the colors up close. All right, here we go in with the swipe test. Just remember some of these spots are not dried yet. You can definitely feel a lot of resistance when I'm dragging my finger across these. So I feel pretty smudge resistant there. And a makeup wipe test to see how hard, oh yeah, I'm using a lot of pressure here. So good sign for them being really long wearing. And I'm gonna assume and guess with how these are coming off, you're gonna get some staining on these deeper shades and brighter shades. So on initial application, these have a very creamy texture to them. And compared to some liquid lipsticks that get really dry and prune the lips, these don't do that. Um, do they have the same moisturizing, hydrating effect as like a gloss? Of course not, but they're not super drying and wrinkling on the lips. I will say that with a handful of the shades, after the dry down, I did notice that they had a bit of a tacky finish to them. That didn't happen with all of the shades, and I think you could probably mitigate that by applying more of a thin layer, but I did want to note that with my experience on a few of the shades. These have a light fragrance to them also. It's very yummy <laughs> scent to them, but I couldn't describe it to you specifically in terms of what it smells like. I didn't really notice it after I applied the product. These shades aren't completely opaque. For the most part, you don't notice it, especially with the lighter shades and the more nude shades. But once you get up into the super bright shades and the deeper shades, the streakiness that you get with that is more apparent. And the application honestly gets more difficult. So the shades that I notice this problem with the most are Coral Cheer, Lure Red, satin chocolate and deep wine. And you'll notice that those are the deeper shades and the brighter shades. I was also kind of surprised these don't actually seem to leave behind much of a stain on the lips. So after I swiped them off with a makeup wipe, I didn't notice the color being left behind. So overall, I think these are a good and definitely really affordable choice for a matte liquid lipstick. At $7 each, it's just super affordable. And of course, if Ulta is running a sale or you have a coupon, then they're going to be even more affordable. You get a healthy, the amount of product and a nice formula for that price. So if you have a favorite shade or two, please let me know what they are in the comments below. If you have tested these out, please share your thoughts and your experiences. I hope this was helpful to you if you were trying to figure out which color you wanted to purchase. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.